Greetings and salutations, fellow time travelers. Tonight, we're diving deep into the early Triassic, a world where the nights are cool and the ground itself tells a story. Beneath the cracked, sun-baked earth is a small synodont named Thranaxodon has engineered its own sanctuary. It's not just a hunter, it's a master of microclimates. Inside a crumbly bank, it's stuck a snug chamber, lining it with shed fur and bits of plants. This isn't just a bed. It's a carefully controlled environment, a pocket of stable temperature and humidity, shielding it from the harsh world above. For any predators on the prowl, Thranaxodon is just a ghost. It's life hidden beneath the surface. As an opportunistic feeder, Thranaxodon enjoys a varied menu of insects, small vertebrates, and any eggs it can sneak from nearby nests. Its skull is a true evolutionary masterpiece. It has a secondary palate, letting it breathe and chew at the same time, a clever adaptation pointing toward its mammalian descendants. Its jaw is getting stronger, and its teeth are diversifying into incisors, canines, and postcanines, each perfectly shaped for its mixed diet. As darkness falls, it patrols its territory, darting out to follow beetle trails, before returning to the safety of home. When storms rage or ash fills the air, the Thrinaxodon simply plugs its burrow entrance with a clawed mix of soil, sealing itself inside a safe bunker. What's fascinating is that fossils show it wasn't always alone. Other species have been found sharing these underground retreats, a snapshot of ancient tolerance preserved in stone. For the young pups, life begins by mastering the bro's complex carters. Mothers are very savvy, stashing their young in secure side chambers while they hunt. If the tunnel roof shows signs of weakness, they instinctively get to work, reinforcing their haven. Above ground, it's chaos. But down here, life is carefully managed. These bros were more than just shelters. They were evolutionary runways. They provided safe spaces for new traits like advanced smell, hearing, and nurturing to develop. These weren't just seasonal hideouts. They were the safe havens where the Grand Mammalian Project could truly begin to take root. Thanks for breathing in the cool air of this ancient world with us. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like and let me know in the comments what Triassic ground truth we should explore next. Your journey through time has only just begun. I'll see you next time.